Hello, 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 we are back, and uh, as you can see, we are fifth in the constructor standings, quite a comfortable lead over Alpine, but it's the teams above that we are really gunning for, Alfa Romeo on 88 points, they've got the better of us so far this season, Mercedes on 127, which is catchable, but we need to pick up the pace, uh, our car is around 8th or 9th best on the grid, so uh, we need to get these developments coming in thick and fast if we are going to catch up to those two teams. When it comes to the developing... Okay, so we've got the front wing research uh, coming in tomorrow. I think we've got to wait two more days. Let's have a look real quick. So if we go into new project design, uh, let's save this chat. Yeah, so we've got to wait three more days until we get the next ATL period, which means we'll get uh, more hours to be able to put into designing new parts. So we've got to wait three more days and we'll design some new parts, uh, potentially more research for next season as well as we've got a big research coming in for the front wing, so we can try and get ahead of things. I think we focus a lot on next season's car. Um, is it, we, we either focus a lot on this season or next season, because we could potentially still get P3 in the constructors, but if we focus on next season, I think we're guaranteed at least P5 this year. We're on the tail end of Q1, and you can see Verstappen P1, Leclerc P2, Perez 3, Hamilton 4, and Bottas is up there in P5. We must have got held up on our laps, I'm not sure. But P12 and P15, that is way, way off the pace. We're going to send our cars out early, get their laps in. We're sticking on used tyres, because I think we could get through on used tyres. If we don't, then that'll be a great, great error. We've got to be improving, surely. Okay, there's improvement from both drivers as we go. Okay, so we probably got held up on our first lap. Actually, Magnussen is still all the way down there. I tell you, he's only just scraped through. One and a half tenths he's got through by. But both drivers are into Q2. Gazzy, we put a new engine into his car this time around. Um, last time out in Baku, we forgot to do that, and that's why he was a little bit slower. This time around, though, with a brand new engine, he's found a bit of pace. And uh, he is the main driver to get into Q3. I think if Magnussen doesn't get into Q3, we take engine penalties here for him. Because both drivers are going to need to take him at some point. Because they've had massive shunts. I'll tell you what, I think it's going to be a real struggle for Magnussen to get out of the bottom five here. I'm going to send both drivers out on a fresh new set of softs. Gasly is not safe by any stretch of imagination as well. Bottas is leading the line. Let's see what sort of time he can put in. Um, Bottas comes across the line now. He is rapid out here, and he goes even faster. Verstappen goes faster. Everybody is going faster, and Magnussen and Gazi need to improve. Gazi might be all right, but we still want him to improve anyway, as they now go through the wall of champions. Gazi coming up to the line first. Sebastian Vettel crosses the line. Surely he's going to improve and go into the top 10. No, he's down in 13th, way off of Bottas's pace. Gazi does improve, but Magnussen is out in Q2. He can only go up to P13, so I think we do take engine penalties if we can with him. Gazi looks like he's got a bit of pace um, up into P8. Uh, I think the main goal is trying to get ahead of George Russell or Bottas, but Bottas in Alfa Romeo is absolutely killing Sebastian Vettel. So we should have probably signed Valtteri Bottas. He's on fire, but Gasly is doing a good job himself. Come on, Pierre. You've got more time in you. We'll send him out. He's the last one out of the pits. So he's going to be the last one around to do his lap. So we'll see what everybody else does, see what they improve on, and then we can see what Pierre Gasly can follow on with. Verstappen, who is currently on provisional pole, can he extend his advantage at the top? No, he cannot. Perez, Sainz and Leclerc might be interested. Leclerc only gets P2. Russell crosses the line. Is he going to jump ahead of Pierre Gasly? No, he's not. So George Russell is not going to be starting any higher than ninth. Gasly is still holding on to seventh place unless Alonso can take that away from him. But Pierre Gasly is improving on his time and he's coming across the line now. Alonso goes ahead, but can Gasly answer back? Yes, he can, and he jumps up to P7, almost getting ahead of Valtteri Bottas. Russell must have had a stinker of a final lap. P7 for Pierre Gassi, which is a fantastic lap, uh, and we can really battle with Bottas, Hamilton, and um, we, we were hoping to get P7, and we got P7, so I think that's a fantastic lap from Gassi, ahead of Alonso, ahead of Guan Yu Zhou, who's done really well for Alpha Tari there, with Alex Albon all the way down there, and George Russell, only P10. We're going to try and take engine penalties with Kevin Magnussen. Let's see if we could do that, actually. So, continue. Here we go. All right. Can we change it? Engine. Can we take a new it? Oh, we can't do it. Mm-mm. Because one or more is currently unused. All right. Can we do it for anything else? 
Oh, we can. Okay, so we can buy a new ERS part, and we can buy a new... We can't buy a new gearbox. I think we... I think we do it. Yeah, I think we do it. We've got to do it at some point this season. I think Canada's not a bad place. And we're already down to P13. So that should drop us five more places, I think. Um, unless it's a pit lane start. I'm not sure. But we have taken that for Kevin Magnuson. What are the strategy options that we can do? So, mediums to hards. I think that's the way to do it for Pierre Gasly. And with Kevin Magnuson... With him starting on... Oh, can we switch that? Oh, we can uh, partake in FP1. We weren't going to, but if we could, then we would have done that with Mick Schumacher last season. I think we're going to go softs to hards with Magnussen. Try and get him underway early. Try and get him to get a few overtakes. And uh, we'll tell him to push a little bit as well. So, can Magnussen get up the grid? I think he's starting P18, but we'll find out. Let's see. I don't see him. But Gassi is P7. That's going to be our main focus at the start of the Grand Prix. Oh, Magnus is still P P13. So he's got away with that somehow. All right. I'm fine with that. He's already lost a place though. Gassi is still holding on to P7. Let's ride on board with Pierre Gassi. He's just kind of settled in behind Bottas. As long as he stays ahead of Alonso, that's okay. And we'll just let the cars drag us along. Magnussen holds on to P13 ahead of Sebastian Vettel, which is very important, but he's got to try and make some moves up. There are quite a few cars on soft tyres. You've got Joe, you've got Russell, you've got four in the top six also on softs as well gazzy in p7 on the mediums and the front two runners also on the mediums as well so go on magnuson make this work early doors can you get the move done on the alpine of esteban ocon go down the inside k mag no he's not gonna be able to get it done just yet so i'm gonna be a little cautious but he's gotta get going because if he can get going and make some moves, that could be very, very important for his race. His cars are battling up ahead. Can he take advantage? I don't think he's going to be able to. But over the next couple laps, let's see if he can make up a few positions. And uh, hopefully Gazi can hold on to the back of Bottas as he's already failing away. Especially as DRS is enabled. So let's push a little bit and try and stay on the back of these guys. Oh, go on then. Go on then. Go on then, Pierre. Go for the move. Let's go for it on Bottas. Down the inside. Can he get the move done? We're going to go full attack. We've given you the ERS. He's got DRS, but so does Bottas. Down the inside goes Pierre Gassi. Oh, into the wall of champions. He almost gets squeezed into it. What a move that is from Pierre. They're fighting up the front. It's like blimmin' three wide almost as Pierre Gassi goes up in a P6 ahead of the Alfa Romeo. And that is a very solid move indeed. There's a yellow flag in Sector 1. It's Guan Yu Zhou. He's gone off the road. I'm not sure if he's hit the wall or not, but he has stopped. So, what's going on here? Is he going to get going? I don't know if he is. But he has locked up. Oh, so he has got going, but he's all the way down in P20, which gives Magnussen a place. He also got past Esteban Ocon, so he's making the soft tyres work early doors you can see russell and alonso are battling up ahead and magnuson is going to try and make the most of this as there's another yellow flag in sector two so people are going off left right and center it's mick schumacher not really surprised about that but let's see what gas can do as he goes down the straight down the inside of the mclaren stick around like magnuson he gets past george russell as well up into p9 solid solid stuff from kevin magnuson what a start this is for both drivers gazzy as well currently with the fastest lap of the grand prix and i tell you what he's gonna get a move done on the alpine of alonso as well up into p8 that is pivotal for his grand prix now if he can get going he can get onto the back of bottas and join the front runners multiple cars crashed oh my goodness me oh my god three cars have crashed three cars have crashed oh we're we're absolutely zooming it is a safety car what has just happened what has just happened? Hold on a second. We need to conserve everything. We've just seen three cars go flying off. We need to check our strategy. Do we want to bring Magnussen in this early? No, I don't think we do. We're just going to keep him out. Let's see what happened. It's Leclerc that's crashed. Leclerc, he's gone... Oh, it's the Mercedes flying into the Red Bull, into the Ferrari. And that is three drivers out of the Grand Prix. I think they're all out. The Ferrari is definitely out. What has happened? That is absolutely crazy. So three drivers out of the Grand Prix. Leclerc and Perez are out of the Grand Prix. And Hamilton, I think he's managed to keep going. Let's see what's happened. Let's see again. So it's Lewis Hamilton. 
Oh, Lewis Hamilton's gone flying into the two in front. The two in front are out of the Grand Prix. I think Lewis Hamilton is still in it. He is. So the, the driver that caused the incident is the only one to make it out of the incident. Perez and Leclerc are both out of the Grand Prix. Perez gets a penalty as well. I don't know why he did. Gasly is now in a podium position. Magnussen up into P5. What a brilliant start this is. What have you done? Magnussen. Magnussen. What have you done? Whoa, 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 we're under the safety car. Get going then. Why does he just sit there? Oh my god. He's all the way down into P17 now. He's just sat there. He's just sat there. He's locked up and just sat there. He was P5. I can't believe what I've just seen. I genuinely can't believe what I've just seen. Alright, well now we might as well pit Kevin Magnussen onto the hard tyres after he's done that. Why? Why? Oh my goodness me. Alright, well Magnussen's going to come into the pits for the hard tyres. He's completely screwed that up. Alright, we've got to get ready for the safety car restart. Magnussen now on the hard tyres. So we've gone for a different type of strategy. Everybody else stayed out. Gazzy also up into P3 on the medium tyres. Let's see what sort of start Gazzy can get when we get going. So it's on Carlos Sainz. When is Carlos Sainz going to let us get away? Gazzy, let's tell him to go for it early doors. See if he can make up any places at the two up front. Oh, I thought Verstappen was going to go for a move on Sainz. But Gazzy is going to be close enough to sniff a move on Max Verstappen. He goes down the inside. Oh, my goodness me. That was a brave move. And he almost got it done. But he's all over the Red Bull driver. Is he going to go for a move now down this straight to put himself up into P2? You've got to make it stick. And you've got to be careful because we are in a podium position, remember. We do not want to throw that away as we're all over the back of the Red Bull of Verstappen. But I think we're just going to settle in now. I, I, I don't think we can make the move because if we make the move, I think it's going to be very easy for the Red Bull to get back past. We just try and hang on to the back of these two as they fight it out between them. Come on, we've got to get a move done on one of these cars soon. We have to. We're stuck in the DRS train. Oh, there you go. Go on, they make it on two of them, Kevin Magnussen. Beautiful. Up in a P13, splitting the Aston Martins. Next up is Nicholas Atifi. I'll tell you what, that should not be too difficult. We should get that move done very easily, and we do. Around the outside, up into P12. Hamilton only into 16th. So Magnussen is making the moves done at the earliest opportunity. Gazzy is still in P3, just sitting behind the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz, uh, as Verstappen has got that overtake, but I'm sure they're going to keep swapping between each other. All right, so we've had the first pit stoppers come in. I think more and more people are going to come into the pits now. So the soft tires are starting to wear off. Sainz and Bottas, who are on the softs. Gazzy's up in a P2, and now he's going to be up in a P1. As Carlos Sainz has come into the pit. So he's got ahead of Verstappen. Uh, and Bottas is also there with him. Verstappen's going an extra lap on those softs. I think Sainz is going to get the undercut here. Especially if we start fighting. We don't really want to fight with you, Max. We want to just chill and do our race. Magnus are doing a great job up into P10. I'm sure more and more people are going to come into the pits. But it's I want to see what sort of tyre... Carlos Sainz is coming out of the pits on, and he comes out on hard tyres just ahead of Magnussen and Daniel Ricciardo. I'm sure Magnussen could get past Daniel Ricciardo on this lap. Let's see if he could do it down this next straight. As long as Ricciardo does not get DRS, which he doesn't, can he get the move done? Not quite, so we're going to have to wait until the next straight. Verstappen gets past Gasly, but I think Verstappen might be coming into the pits. Down the inside goes Kevin Magnussen. What a move that is up in a P9. And Magnussen really getting his race going. Bottas actually comes into the pits, but Verstappen stays out another lap. We're going to stay out a little bit longer on these mediums, so our hard tyres are going to be working a lot better towards the end of the Grand Prix. Do we go for the undercut on Max Verstappen, or do we go for the overcut? That's the question that we've got, because we're, we're kind of swapping and changing. They're saying now is the optimal pit stop time, but we've got life on these medium tyres I want to use up. Bunch of people now coming into the pits. I want to see, is Verstappen going to pull into the pits? Yes, he is. All right, so we're going to go crazy on these tyres now for the next two laps. And we're going to really push to see if we can get that overcut to work for Pierre Gasly. So we're pushing on these medium tyres. Magnussen up into P4. He's still ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Um, I don't know how Lewis Hamilton's got all the way up to P5. He's closed in on him. I didn't realise that. Bottas in P6. Now, the only problem is our hard tyres are a lot more worn. So, I think we're going to commit to another pit stop with Kevin Magnussen. I think that's the way to do it. Mag uh, Hamilton should have got a bigger penalty than he actually did for the accident that he caused. 
But we'll probably go on to the mediums at the end of the Grand Prix. Either the mediums or the softs. As I think now Hamilton is probably going to breeze past us. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. But Gasly is really pushing on those mediums. When do we come into the pits? I think we're going to go one more lap. And then we're going to come in, we're going to come in this lap onto the hard tyres. I think this is the way to do it. We don't want his tyres going off too long. So let's go onto the hard tyres now. And really, really push to see if we can get this undercut to work on Verstappen. I don't think it's going to work. As long as we come out ahead of Hamilton, I think that's all right. So let's see as Gazi now peels into the pits. You can see Sainz coming down the main straight. He's going to easily get ahead. Verstappen will probably get ahead as well. Yep, you're in the box, mate. It might be close between Verstappen, but I think Verstappen's going to get him, actually. Yeah, Verstappen's going to get him pretty comfortably. So it's, it's all about where is Hamilton compared to Gasly, I think. As Gasly comes out of the pits now, he does come out behind Verstappen. And not too far behind, actually. We're in DRS range. So we're on course for a podium for Gasly. Let's push a little bit just to get in the DRS range. And then we'll sit behind Verstappen on a little bit fresher, hard tyres. And Sainz... He pitted a lot earlier on, uh, so his hard tyres are going to be a little more worn down than both mine and Verstappen. So maybe we could close in and potentially fight for a race win. And Magnussen is doing a good job in P6. All right, we're there. We're there. We're in. We're in that range. Oh, competitive to crash, but we're in that range with Science and Verstappen. No safety car or VSC, so no reason to bring Kevin Magnussen in just yet. We are going to have to bring him in at some point. His tyres are down to 52%, but Gasly is right in the back of Science and Verstappen. He is fighting for a race win here. The, the race win is not out of the question. Magnussen, on the other hand, um, he will have to go on to probably... We'll probably put him onto the soft tyres at the end of the Grand Prix if we have another set of softs, do we? Yeah, we do have another set of fresh softs. So we will be able to put him onto those at the end of the Grand Prix. And uh, I don't know if Hamilton's going to try and go the rest of the Grand Prix or if he's going to pit as well. He surely has to pit as well. So currently we're P1 with Gasly. Verstappen in P2 and Verstappen uh, signs P3. We've been switching positions a lot. We've managed to harvest a lot of energy with um with gazzy but now we're going to try and go light on the tires because i'm a little worried about how good these tires are going to be at the end of the grand prix we've got 21 laps and they're already down to 64 percent science has got 70 uh science got 62 verstappen's got 70 magnuson is going to have to pit soon as uh verstappen breezes past so we're going to try and go light on the tires for gazzy in hope they will have better tires at the end of the grand prix or at least the same tires as verstappen and science and Verstappen gaining a bit at the right there, but he, he's been doing that the whole time. As long as we can stay within DRS range, we should be all right. No mistakes so far from Gasly, which is good to see, but he is dropping a little bit. And that's the only worry if we do go light in the tyres that Verstappen could run away and take the race win, essentially. So we've got to be careful that he doesn't do that. Magnussen, we're probably going to end up pitting next lap. So let's go full attack, actually. And then we're going to come into the pits. All right, we're going to bring Kevin Magnussen into the pits now, as just as he overtakes Lewis Hamilton. Um, but we're going to have to come in and put him on the soft tyres because his hards are not going to make it to the end of the Grand Prix. If Hamilton tries to make him to the end of the Grand Prix, I think they're going to be so dead that we're going to get straight back past him. Um, I don't know where Magnussen is actually going to come out compared to everybody else. He might come out probably P13 behind Guan Yu Zhou. Where is Joe as we speak? He is coming down the main straight. If we can get out ahead of him, that'll be perfect. Okay, so we do. So we come out P12. We're going to overtake Ricardo and Vettel to get back into the points. But I do think Hamilton's tyres are either going to go off or he is going to pit as well. These softs should make it to the end of the Grand Prix pretty comfortably. We're just going to push this lap just in case Hamilton does come into the pits uh, to make sure we stay ahead of him. But we should be all right. Verstappen is actually charged off out, the, out in front. Um, we went light in the tyres just to make sure we'll get to the end of the Grand Prix, but Verstappen's just driving better. So we're fighting for P2 now with Carlos Sainz with 18 laps to go. Magnussen should make light work of um, Ricardo up ahead, and he should be able to close in on Vettel as well because we're going to be a lot, lot faster on these soft tyres. I wonder if there's going to be any late drama, any safety car, and that will certainly change our strategy with Pierre Gasly. As now down this straight, can we get the move done? Not quite yet. We're going to wait until the next one, apparently, with Magnussen. Is he going to go down the inside? We've seen it doing a, do, him, do it a couple times already, and he does get the move done. So up into P11, he can keep pushing. He should be able to score good points. All right, Magnussen already up into P9. He's absolutely zooming. Up into P8... Hamilton still hasn't come in. He's on 
worn hard tires. We're going to catch up to him pretty soon. I mean, we're not far behind him at all after the pit stop. Look how far behind we are. So if he comes into the pits, we're going to be way, way ahead of him. If he doesn't come into the pits, we're going to breeze past him. So I think a P5 is on the car to Magnussen, even after that screw-up he had on uh, underneath the safety car. Magnussen now going to think about a move down the inside of Lando Norris, but he's going to get it done down the next straight, up into P7 with the fastest lap. He is absolutely flying. Hamilton losing a place to Alonso. His tyres are starting to go off. So Hamilton's made a mistake. He, he, he needs to come into the pits. If he stays out, I don't think he's going to score points, and neither Mercedes driver will score points this weekend, or at least Hamilton will only score a couple, and it's going to be a great, great weekend for us as we're currently P2, actually pulled a bit of a gap away from Carlos Sainz behind. I'm just hoping that these hard tyres are going to hold on to the end of the Grand Prix. Hamilton's in the pits. Okay, so Hamilton does finally come into the pits. He is putting on the soft tyres. Where is he going to come out compared to everybody else? He's lost so much time to us for, for staying out that, that whole time. He's going to come out in P10? Looks it. Yeah, so he, cu he comes out in P10. Should get past Ricardo. Should get past Vettel uh, and Norris, I'd imagine. But we're going to comfortably beat Hamilton this Grand Prix. I mean, I'm not sure if he's actually going to get past all three of those. He's only got 12 laps to do it. So we'll have to keep an eye and see if he can get that done. Magnus, on the other hand, m is closing in on Fernando Alonso. And he might be able to get the job done down this next straight. Or is he going to have to wait another lap? I think he might have to wait another lap. But I'm sure Magnussen is going to finish this race in P5 as he does get past Alonso. I think Bottas is a little too far up the road. His hard tyres are still going well. Maybe he might be able to get a move done later. But Alonso is staying with Magnussen. So we need to try and pull out of that DRS before we think about Valtteri Bottas up ahead. Gasly is holding off Carlos Sainz. So Verstappen's ran away with it. And we're holding on to the tyres with Pierre Gazzi for a P2. Also, P5 of Magnussen. We got away from Alonso. We're closing in at a rapid rate of notch on Valtteri Bottas. Granted, our tyres are starting to go a little bit, but not by this. We're 3.3 seconds behind. Three seconds behind. We've got four laps to go. We could get an overtake in the last couple of laps on Bottas. Gazzi, on the other hand, is holding off uh, Carlos Sainz. For now, no! Oh my goodness me, he's put in such a great race. He was on for a P4 and he's gone straight into the wall. And that was a bitter blow for the team. And it may have really hurt their overall chances. Does he have to come into the pits? How bad is it? Minor, major. Major front wing damage. Oh my gosh, we have to bring him in, aren't we? Is he going to be able to even get points now if we bring him in? Oh, why have you done this? Why have you done this? We were cruising towards a fantastic double points finish. And he's done that. All right, we'll put on a new front wing. I mean, we have to, otherwise we're definitely not scoring points. I don't know where he's going to come out even. Where is Magnussen going to come out? We're going to put on a whole new front wing. He comes out P11. We're not going to score points of him. He's way too far behind. Oh, my days. Kevin Magnussen, mate. What have you done? What have you done? We're going to push like crazy for the last couple laps. He's four seconds behind Sebastian Vettel. We might be able to close on in. In other news, though, there's two laps to go, and Gasly is still holding on. And you can see why I was worried about his tyres. They're down to 36%. Carlos Sainz at 38%, so not too much of a difference. But you can understand why I was worried. Magnussen is closing in on Sebastian Vettel. Maybe he can still get one or two points from this Grand Prix. Uh, it's still a, a major, major blow after what could have been, but he could still redeem a couple of points, which could go a long way in the constructors' standings. So Verstappen just starting his last lap, which means one and a half laps for Magnussen to try and get a couple of points. Is he going to go for a move on Vettel right now? No, he is not. Gazzi holding on to that P2. We could still get P9 in this Grand Prix. So let's see if he can make the move done now on Sebastian Vettel, not just yet. Is he going to go for a move? Oh, he could get a move on the McLaren. No, he cannot. So we are much better tyres and he still can't get a move done. Come on, go down the inside. You've got DRS. You've got the better tyres. Uh, we just can't get the move done. Gazi is holding on 
to that P2 as it gets the move on the McLaren. Finally. Okay, up we go. We could still get the move done on Vettel and go up to P9. Gazi is going to come home in P2. What a fantastic result that is for him. We're right on the back of Sebastian Vettel going around the outside. Can we get that move done? Yes, we can. Up into P9. Maybe a few more laps we might have been able to get Alexander Albon up ahead as well. Um, but only going to be P9 for Magnussen after it was looking like a potential P4. So that is a bit devastating for Magnussen. P9 for him, P2 for Gazi, but in the... Yeah, it was. Your driving was shit though, mate. Overall, it was a great performance when you, when you look at the points that we've actually scored. We've got 20 points that weekend. Should have been... Uh, a weekend where we got 30 points. So we've missed out on 10 big points there. But Gazi gets a podium for Haas. Uh, oh, we didn't even get fastest lap in the end. Alex Albon got it. So it should have been another point, really. But it was a really good weekend. It was a solid weekend. If we would have got P4, we would have closed in on Alfa Romeo a lot more than we actually did. But we did close a bit on Alfa Romeo. Did close a bit on Mercedes as well. Where did Hamilton finish? Hamilton got P5. We would have finished ahead of Hamilton as well. Oh, with both cars. That is so, so frustrating. Anyway, it is a good weekend because you do get quite a few points. Driver standings. Gasly now has 58 this season. Magnussen 31. So Gasly really showing that he is the better driver so far. If you are enjoying this series, make sure you go ahead. Leave a like in the comments. Oh, leave a like and then comment. And um, also subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.